Welcome, ladies, gentlemen, and anthropomorphic mercenaries. I am Speedyard, and this is Shotgun Butterfly. And now, we face the Say your prayers, Andros. Venom at last. Our destination all along. Don't get too cocky, Star Fox. Star Wolf. Let's see how you handle our new ship. Our antithesis. Too bad Dad's not here to see you fail. I hate Pigma. We'll make sure you never regain drugs. And Andrew is just a clear case of nepotism. Don't about that, Star Wolf. You guys don't give up. Don't compliment the enemy. Not yet. The party's just begun. For me, at least. Was your ship built by Slippy like mine? Never mind. Couldn't have happened to a better guy. I've been saved by Fox. How swell. Now is not the time for snark. I can't break free. This gold ring will help us out a whole lot. We'll need the extra shielding when we face the final boss. This can't be happening. And at last I have avenged my father's betrayal. There's one more to go. Generally speaking, you can get through this section pretty well if you know what you're doing and have hyper lasers. If you have a single shot laser and you've lost your allies, then I bid you. All it takes is to get one good bead on the enemy and you can take them out very quickly, as Leon here has demonstrated for us. I'll go it alone from here. This is it. The end. The final confrontation for the fate of Lilac. At the end, when the world is upon our shoulders and only we can determine its fate, we must face it alone. I've been waiting for you, Star Fox. And I too have waited for this moment to face you once more. You know that I control the galaxy. No longer. Your rule ends now. It's foolish to come against me. I was always that kind of fool. Now you will feel true Whatever you deliver, I will turn back on you a hundredfold. It would appear events have at last come to a head. Today sees the end of all your handiwork, Andros. You chose to be blind to mercy, and now mercy will be blind to you. Your breath reeks of evil. Let me help you with that. <laughs> be honest. This is what you came to see. And really, I'm glad they put in something so lighthearted right here at the very end of the game when we're facing the big bad boss. I have the brains to rule Lilac. Ugh! A counter pun! It would appear you are better prepared than I thought. You show your true form. One wonderful trick I learned, totally new, from YouTube, is if you throw a bomb right there between his eyes, you can take out his two eye stalks and get them out early on. Give me a moment. I'm still trying to recover from the effects of the counterpoint. One thing I absolutely have to say, though, is years and years ago, when I was a very young child, and I played through this, and I finally got to the true Andros for the first time, I immediately reset the Nintendo 64. Because he was just one of the most freaky, incredibly strange, weird, evil-looking things I have ever seen in my life. <laughs> it really actually scared me. <laughs> We're down both wings and all we've got left is a bomb and a sad little single laser. You can't give up just yet. If I go down, I'm taking you with me. At least our friends are safe. Don't ever give up, my son. Father? Follow me, Fox. This is a moment I remember many, many instances of. Both wings broken, barely staying aloft. 
following a ghost or a spirit or who knows what, out of the depths of the earth, a hellfire racing after us. When you're about nine or ten years old, it's enough to make your hands sweat and your skin grow clammy, because you know so much is riding on this moment. Never give up. Trust your instinct. I'm so strong, boss. set out to do is accomplished. Andros is dead, and Lilat is free once more, thanks to our work. I always watch the credits to a game with a good story. Done right, the credits just encapsulate and summarize the very spirit of what made that game a great experience. Granted, Star Fox 64 is pretty sparse about narrative details but it gives you enough to create your own experience. And to me, most of that comes through the interaction, the banter with your teammates, that sense of camaraderie that they did such an excellent job incorporating into this game because you're constantly saving your teammates and talking with them and they comment on what you do. It makes you a part of that group and it makes you care about them. It gives you something that you're fighting for when you fight the villains. Add to that, the game is a journey we journey from one side of the galaxy, or solar system, to the other with those comrades of ours. That map we saw between each level was an integral part of that because it gave us a sense of the scale of the journey we were undertaking, the massiveness of what we were doing. All throughout the game, there was Corneria where we began and Venom where we knew we must eventually arrive. So it was always hanging over us, the knowledge that we will be there and we will face the enemy. Along the way, there were many obstacles, things trying to keep us from accomplishing this. But the whole way, we had friends to help us. Furthermore, the game is something of a Bildungsroman. Fox is the new young hotshot commander of Star Fox. He has the grandfatherly Peppy to look up to, Falco who challenges him, and Slippy who needs him to bail him out all the time. He lives in his father's shadow, a man who we are led to believe accomplished a great deal and was a great warrior. That's what makes the very ending when Fox is led out of the depths of Venom by the spirit of his father so very beautiful. A lot has been riding on him. Everything's up to him at this point. We don't know how young he was when his father died, but at this pivotal moment he finds that he has his father's affirmation. in your debt. I would be honored to have you as part of the Cornarian Oh no, sir. We prefer doing things our own way. Great Fox is ready to go. It's time for us to go now. One aspect that can't be praised too highly is how well the music was done in this game. In general, the soundtrack is rousing, like a call to battle. Here, there is a sort of subdued, celebratory variation on the main theme. It fits very well. We've been hearing this theme in one form or another throughout the game, and here we hear it for one last time. To me, that theme just speaks of camaraderie and adventure, and a call to righteous struggle. And here, 
it's a bit more quiet and like I said, subdued, because we've at last we've come to the end of our journey. Slowly, it begins to rise, to build up, to increase in tempo. And like a final send-off, the music ascends to that familiar climax, bidding us farewell and well done. My memories here are filled with nothing but goosebumps and awe and a sense of the epic. Ladies and gentlemen, Star Fox 64. I hope you've enjoyed revisiting this game as much as I have. But though this story is concluded, be assured the struggle of good against evil will continue elsewhere. <laughs>